Hi everybody, welcome back to Get Thin with Ken. Beard's gone, you know what that means. Yes, came in this morning, 260.6 pounds. Uh, super excited about that, because man, that beard was about to drive me crazy. So it is feeling good to be able to feel my face again. And here's a picture of uh, when I started. This is my face. So you can see all the extra chunk under here. And um, this is a picture of me with the beard this morning before I shaved. So you can see how my face still kind of looked a lot fatter. And then after I shaved, here's a picture. So you can kind of see all the same angles. And it's pretty exciting to see uh, what this uh, journey is doing for me. It's paying off, starting to feel a lot smaller, a lot better. Um, fitting into a lot smaller clothes now. Um, the journey is, is rewarding me uh, with the good feeling of feeling great and being able to fit in smaller clothes. So all these sacrifices I have made with exercising, trying to eat right, making sure that I don't drink anything but water has really paid off and it feels so good. Um, almost in the 250s. I'm hoping by weigh-in I'll be there. I don't know, but I'm hoping by weigh-in on Wednesday I will be at the 259 point something mark or maybe even a little less, but it feels good to enter the 250s again or complete the 260s and never see them again, hopefully. So that's going to be my goal. I have changed tremendously in my mindset on what I'm doing, but if you will do it, if you will start your journey, I promise you, if you will just focus, set a goal like I did. I said that I was not going to shave until I hit 260 pounds from 296.2. So if you're just joining my channel, 296.2 pounds. I said, I, uh, I'm Ken. Hey, get thin with me. I want to try to lose weight and show you guys how I do it. And just to set a goal out there, I'm not going to shave and I hate long beards. I'm not going to shave until I hit 260 pounds. So it was 36 plus pounds that I had to lose in order to do that. So I knew it'd be a challenge. I knew it'd be very hard. I knew it wouldn't be something that was easily accomplished, but it made me focus really hard because the, the longer it took, the longer my beard got because my hair goes really fast, except for on top of my head for some reason. But it gave me a reason to fight harder and I committed to you you guys I put my name out there I said hey look I'm going to do this and it has helped me tremendously now the results themselves are making me do what is required to lose weight it makes me want to eat healthy it makes me want to push back portion sizes and make sure that I do what's acceptable uh, to lose weight so today we rode side by sides and here's a picture from us riding today uh, having a good time with some friends but I made sure I didn't pack anything unhealthy. I made sure I packed healthy snacks. And I, actually, while we were out there, I didn't even end up eating any of them. I just drank my water. And drinking a gallon of water a day has really fulfilled my belly more. So I feel full more, almost too full sometimes, where it's even harder for me to get into 1,500 calories, which is kind of a good thing because it's keeping me to where I feel like I'm full. Um, I am still eating clean. I'm still doing all the right things because the results are making me do it now. Before, it was the challenge of, hey, I put my word out there and said that I'm going to do this. So maybe that's a trick. Maybe that's something you could do. If you haven't tried it, maybe you you post on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and say, hey, look, guys, until I get to this point, I'm not going to do this or I'm going to do this, you know, whatever it may be. But, hey, share that challenge on this channel. Uh, we'd love to see that. Uh, like and share. Uh, and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Uh, you'll learn how to lose weight, or at least how I'm doing it, and maybe it'd work for you. Um, the gallon of water a day has definitely helped me, and uh, I do feel a lot more energetic uh, with the extra water. So, good stuff, and uh, I'm excited about where I'm going and uh, not going to let off the throttle. So, we're going to keep going, but I just wanted to report to you guys, hey, I've, I've hit the goal, number one. So that's my first goal. So this is the first goal, and I'm thinking about what the second goal is going to be. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put anything on it, like growing a beard or anything like that. But I do want to set a second goal so I can, just, you know, share with you guys my journey between phase two, as uh, the weight loss journey show. Uh, they break it up into phases. They got phase one, phase two, phase three. 
So that was phase one. Phase one, I hit 260 pounds. So feels great. I did it in less than less than eight weeks, just shy of eight weeks. My beard was extremely long, as you can see in the picture before, and I'm just happy to have it cut down. It feels so good to be, you know, trimmed down. And I really didn't realize my face had already gotten this small. So when I shaved it off this morning, I was really excited about it. And uh, because my beard was getting so long, it, it looked like my chin was down more. And uh, so it feels really good, and I'm excited about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If, you, if you're watching this, thank you for watching it. I hope that it encourages you to start your journey, if you haven't already. And if you have, I hope this encourages you to keep doing the things that you know you should be doing to get there, because it does feel great when you arrive. And uh, I'm not saying I've arrived at my goal, but I arrived at step one, phase one goal. And that feels, that feels amazing. To be able to sit here and say, you know, if I look back and maybe I should have done this like they do on uh, extreme weight loss where, you know, the guy starting off or the girl starting off says, you know, here's where I'm at. And, you know, I'm sitting here at 296.2 pounds. I don't have a lot of energy. I'm on blood pressure medicine. I'm on uh, Nexium for heartburn and acid reflux. Uh, I just, I really don't have energy to do anything time I get home from work to now, you know, here I am only two months two months guys uh i'm not on blood pressure medicine anymore i'm not on nexium i don't i exercise just about every single day um, i'm challenging myself now on running a mile how fast i can get a mile and you might laugh i did it in 11 and a half minutes the other night about killed me but 11 and a half minutes for me i'm still a big guy so i'm 260 pounds still so i'm not small by no means but that was kind of hard for me uh you know it was really difficult for me so i'm going to keep trying that and seeing where i go with that as a uh, part of my exercise to kind of push myself and get some jogging in um but anyhow happy to see that i made the 260 point something range right and there's the scale so you can see it 260.6 uh this morning so i'm extremely happy about it excited i hope you guys are excited about your journey I hope y'all started and like and subscribe guys. Y'all have a blessed weekend. God bless.